When Mario Kart 8 was announced and released, people were hyping the game up like it was going to save the Wii U from all the problems it was in, get it out of the rut it's been in, and bring prosperity and third party to the console. Well, Mario Kart 8 came, it released, and so far, even though it sold a bunch, Nintendo lost $97 million last quarter. Even though the game sold sufficiently, they lost $97 million on the game. But oh, it gets even worse for Nintendo. Mario Kart 8 was not a system seller. Now, how can this be when the game was selling millions and millions of games? Well, most of the people buying the game were already present Wii U owners. That's right, the only people buying this game were the Wii U owners who, keep in mind many of these people do not buy third party games, they were the only ones buying this game. The game did not attract people who did not currently own a Wii U and get them to buy a console. Because the Wii U, in a span of only three months, only managed to sell about half a million consoles, with the 3DS outselling it. Now keep in mind, even though Nintendo is having some games that are selling a bunch on the 3DS, they're losing all this money because the Wii U is a flop. And let's be honest here, actually putting effort into your marketing sells you more consoles than trying to target kids and people who like to post memes. And I'm not making this up because Nintendo actually posts memes on their Twitter account. And as for general consumers, the Wii name is tainted. When people see Wii, they think of that thing that was hot back in 2007 when you get the family over to play Wii Sports before that fell out of favor along with the Guitar Heroes at the time. And now the Wii sits in various used game stores collecting dust, with the boxes fading of the games themselves because nobody wants them. And it doesn't help that the Wii is an underpowered console just like the Wii U is, and both the Wii and the Wii U lack many, 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 many multi-platform games. So honestly, Nintendo is going to have to step their game up if they want people to actually buy their console. And as for the competition, well, the NPD numbers came out, and the Wii U is still being outsold by the PS4, but is also being outsold by the Xbox One now especially with the Xbox One's price drop as more people are going to pay $100 more to get the new Xbox, to get the new PlayStation, instead of the new Wii. Because after all, when you ask people what they think of the Wii, they'll be like, that's still around? Just like they will when you ask them about some one-hit wonder from the 90s. And let's be honest here, the Xbox One and the PS4 have more compelling games, especially to the mainstream audience, than the Wii U currently has. I mean, let's be honest here. Think in reality. What game do you think is going to sell more? Battlefield Pardline? Or Splatoon? Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Or Devil's Third? The Witcher 3? Or, well, I don't know. Does the Wii U even have any role-playing games besides Xenoblade Chronicles X? I mean, Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem is vaporware at this point. And do you think that some kid is going to want to play the new Mario game, or is he going to play Minecraft, which is not available on the Wii U? And if Nintendo has all this money sitting in the bank like all these people talk about, why isn't Nintendo funding games? Why isn't Nintendo funding big name games? Why isn't Nintendo actually making exclusives that people outside the core Nintendo fan base care about? That's all I have to say on this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.